What is going on, you DGen lunatics? You let's break it down and see what's going on with the Lunk community. There's a lot of actually really good stuff that's been happening, especially if you've been keeping track to USTC, which finally got a fix. And if you remember, and I'll show you in just a few moments, but there was a misreporting. We had reported it correctly. And there's, by the way, a proposal to permanently fix all of these little underpinnings uh, of reporting that are erroneous or incorrect or coming from different sources so i believe in fact it was happy caddy crypto uh where we had a certain amount of ustc and he went back to coin market cap and reported the accurate or the correct amount and then um we had the the removal of some but it wasn't updated then because not his response, because it's nobody's responsibility. So we had to make it somebody's responsibility. I'm going to tell you who that is in just a moment. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. So let's kick it off. Uh, first of all, Terraform Lab CEO bets $10 million on Luna's bullish trajectory. So um, edit, who wants to take a $10 million bet that Luna will be lower price in one year than now to the trader's surprise? Uh, the Terraform Lab uh, founder, Terraform Labs, the firm behind uh, Terra, uh, Du Quan, replied, cool, I'm in. And that actually, a million, that's not 10 million. Uh, that, I don't see 10 million. It's, it's actually $1 million bet, it looks like, right there. So um, <laughs> I think there might be a little bit of excitement getting ready to happen here. Of course, plenty of news uh, to the negative for Terraform Labs. May 22nd is going to be the determining date for that. Uh, Judge Rakoff, uh, creator of the Rakoff token, I'm told, I'm not sure, but I'm told, that he's um, angry and he's going to get, he's going to get him. He's going to get him. He's going to get him. You don't do that to the United States. Even if it wasn't in the United States, you still don't do that to the United States because it's United States. You know what I mean? I don't know what they mean, but I hear that they, they mean something. I don't know. I really don't. Uh, anyway, so let's move on here to some more news. Because uh, USTC was removed from the Luna, the Luna Foundation Guard, and remember, there was just a big amount. Uh, 1.85 billion USTC and 222 million LUNK tokens from Luna were removed from the circulating supply. Uh, LUNK price skyrocketed over 10%. USTC price rose 18% within a few hours, but paired earlier gains. Now, of course, the market still dipping a little bit. The market started to reverse right now. So I would assume, and I'm going to give you a good reading here, uh, because I did tell you guys, I think that we're ready for some upside momentum. So we'll see what happens there. So anyway, the, the supply has been reduced now. We've got a reduction in supply. So what about uh, the, the the next step? Well, you know, what is the next step to that? Well, governance. So change official CS API endpoint to all nodes FCD. All nodes has agreed to do this. And what this will do, uh, should this proposal pass, the adjusted FTC for the Luna Classic chain will be run by all nodes, ensuring the correct circulating supply of Lunk and USDC. Uh, for completeness, we want to provide the historic calculations done in the FCD until now, this calculation was handled long different from all other native tokens. So now they'll be responsible if you vote yes. And so far, we've got 54% uh, voting yes. If we come to Lunk Dash, we can see exactly who's voting and which way they are voting. Um, so you can see the the largest one, Lunk Swap, so far has voted no um, with, with uh, veto. Moon Rabbit validators also voted no uh, from here. We've got Community First, Hexagon, Lunk Development Fund, Luna Knots, LVS, Lunk Burn, Adval, Battle Force, and Classic Notes have all voted yes so far. Now, will we get enough interest and will this be a thing that gets approved? I don't know yet. Um, I would uh, want somebody to be doing this, but I don't think people see the value at this point of, I don't think they see the value in making sure that everything is updated and reported, and especially by a single entity. Remember, we got trust issues. So... All nodes, I don't know whether I'd call them a good or bad actor in this space. I know that they were referred to us by Binance, and that's important. So I think we need to to do what they, you know, what we need to help them as we can help them. But, you know, remember on Friday, I gave you a uh, long 10% USDC 24. So let's, I'm going to vote yes on this and put it into somebody's hand because it has to be in somebody's hand. We got to have a, we have a website. We need, there's plenty of different things that we need to look like at some form of centralized entity, even if we're not. So uh, we're going to have to build. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that we should be doing this? Do you think that this is a great idea? I do, in fact, think that this is a good idea. Uh, I think that we really are in a situation in which we we, we kind of need something like that to, to be happening. But we're going to move on to price action right now. And uh, 
you know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. So price action. I told you guys that I think that we're going to have this move from here and it's going to rip up here. Now, what I forgot to tell you and what I forgot to mention was that there is also that weird little possibility of sideways action. And uh, for clarity, let me zoom out and show you what I told you before. Um, and I, I didn't tell you on Luna Classic. I told you on USDC because it did it before. But uh, when we broke out of uh, the the resistance channel, which was coming down this way, when we broke out, we went sideways. I think I, I think I mentioned that on on Lunk too. But now uh, I still think that we're heading up here, and I think that we're heading up here, and we're probably going to have about a one hundred percent increase uh, in price action very very shortly. I think that we're we're setting ourselves up for it. Uh, we just haven't experienced it yet. If you remember here, we had this little channel that we were running through. And I said, you know, it, it would maybe break up this way, uh, get to 12, 17, 29 before rejecting uh, and coming back down, or we could have a breakout. However, this is not a great sign when it's pointing upwards, right? So what happened instead was actually, to be fair, the more optimal occurrence here, which was sideways trading action during this period of time. Why is that important? Well, it's establishing a better floor. Remember, the floor was over here. Now it's just slightly higher right here. Now, we're splitting hairs when we're talking about it this way, but it is happening. So what is the next move here? Well, uh, according to uh, all the volume that I'm seeing right here and the, the little bit of, you know, we're not really getting too much. Uh, I'm looking for this RSI to come down a little bit lower into this range while trading sideways. That's going to be a great sign for uh, a move towards the upside. And we'll get some momentum and move into this range still. Uh, just going to take a little bit longer. And then I'm going to look for a breakout for about 1600 And then after that, I'm going to look for another breakout up into this range and at least get one more test, about 100% from here, uh, 120%, something like that, uh, for a move up from these two ranges up into this uh, into this area. It looks a little something like this. And guys, we, we've done it before. We keep doing it. And we're, we're minting and printing the same kind of patterns here. The reason that you're seeing this right here, the reason you're seeing this right here, this is just the broader markets dumping Bitcoin doing its thing. So uh, that gives that. Now, USTC, here's what I was telling you about before when we talked about this before. And like I, I even mapped it out on these charts so that you guys could see it uh, very specifically uh, exactly how it plays out. So the last time we had this move, uh, we started to mint these tops. We started to get it as resistance, and we broke up. We broke out of it sideways. We broke out of it sideways to thirteen cents, and then boom! Before you know it, we're at seven cents. Okay. So what do I think is going to happen? Well, I think the same thing is about to happen here. We've gotten some information that's positive. We've seen a big reduction in the circulating supply. Now we're going to get some uh, a little bit of of the early adopters are already here. They pump the price from two cents or one and a half cent all the way back up here to 2.28. Now it's going to have that breakout moment. Now we need something for that breakout moment. We don't have it yet, but when we get that, whatever time it is, I'm going to say that this is going to be a great time for a buy because boom, the next move probably going to be in that seven cent range. Now, the one question that I would have is right here at about five and a half cents. I see a kind of a lot of trading in that range. So that's going to be a prohibitive sort of resistance. So this breakout is going to have to be very strong and robust sort of breakout. And if it is, then that's going to be the next step. So that's what I think is going to happen. We're, we're set for it. We're just waiting for it to actually happen. Now, before we close this out, let's check one more thing. And that is over on Terraport Exchange. If you haven't already, make sure uh, you come over and check out Terraport Exchange. If you want to do some trading, I mean, think about it, guys. We need activity in this realm. If we want to show that we're a, a thriving and vibrant chain, we need thriving and vibrant action in this blockchain. So uh, come over here. Uh, if you are uh, looking for anything, come over here and buy some. One of them that we're going to look at right here is Garuda. Okay. Uh, the reason we're going to look at that is because this is the Garuda Big Bang x.io marketplace now uh, garuda uh, if you will uh sponsors this uh big bang web3 marketplace it's an nft launch pad um you can list your nfts here if you want to if you have a project um th they're inspired by miata uh so uh, this is a a a minting sort of feature that you've got that's available connect your wallet you can explore collections start selling and growing and look at some point, this entire ecosystem, boom, takes off, right? When it does, what happens to all of these and their value? You know, look, we can make an argument that that NFTs are profile picks. And, you know, 
there's actually some 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 logic to that. Uh, by the way, by the way, it, it certainly make sure that you take the time to come and check out these collections because the collections are actually uh, pretty cool. Uh, there's, there's, uh, you can come over here and check out the vapor lunk, uh, like vaporware making uh, a joke about that. Uh, you've got the bikes, you've got the air force lunk, air force lunk, by the way, used in the air force, uh, lunk game, which is coming pretty soon. I don't have an update on it, but it's coming pretty soon. And the thing is that these are based on a smart contract, right? And that smart contract can be implemented and used in a bunch of different things in a bunch of different games. So, um, you know, make sure that you have a couple of these just to make sure that you're part of this ecosystem. If you are, then it allows it for it to grow. So uh, if you haven't already, uh, GRDX is the Garuda uh, token. Uh, it's available on Terraport.finance. Make sure that you start trading today. Certainly helps for the ecosystem. And uh, go check out BigBangX.io. Buy yourself some NFTs, by the way. Use your Lunk. Use a little bit of Luna Classic. Go buy some. Support these guys. Support these causes. And if you do that, then guess what? That goes up to... I'm going to show you something. There are some very exciting plans coming for Cryptonomy VIP users Make sure that you're signed up to the Cryptonomy Telegram. Follow the Twitter account for rewards and prizes. There's going to be extensive promo programs and giveaways for all Cryptonomy VIP users. Also, uh, we've introduced a unique opportunity for users to evaluate the platform's performance and share your personal experiences. So if you are looking to do that, your comments can be posted on cryptonomy.finance slash reviews. You guys know what I've been saying you know, I think XRP is about to have a moment. So we're going to make a deposit over here. Uh, we're going to do 10,000 XRP right now. We're going to stake that for, we got another 12 months. So we're going to put that in there, 120.7% APY. We're just going to stake this long-term. Scheduled amount is going to be 12,075 XRP on the way out. Uh, the yields continue. The launch pool, TARS protocol did a 13X. Xverse, remember, did a 4X. Blade Swap did a 5X. Uh, these guys are finding really good projects, putting them out there for you. So make sure you sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. We don't talk about this very much, but these are the chains. There's total value locked on these chains, which, you know, we, we hit this, you know, Ethereum's got 52 billion. Uh, but we would be looking here, coming down this line, we're looking for Lunk. We're looking for Terra Luna Classic uh, in this ecosystem with what is the value, how much is locked up on it, you know? So uh, that's what we want to see. We want to see Terra Luna Classic make its way up into this kind of realm. And then we have 24-hour volume, which tells you how much volume there is. So let's go in here. Right here is Terra Classic, right here, number 165. And coming over here, 193 million. Now, what are we talking about right there? Uh, we're talking about the stables. We're talking about 24-hour volume. We're sorting by 100 by 24-hour volume. Okay, so when we come down here, you know, we're a long way down. We're not even reporting the volume on the chain as it sits right now. But when we come over here and we talk about stables, right? We're looking at the stables. Where does it rank? Number 14, guys. I think it's safe to say when you see a lot of stables, when you see a lot of stable coins that are used in an ecosystem, it means price gonna go up. So I would encourage you and implore you to check out Terra Luna Classic before the time runs out, because as stable coins go, it's a top 15 project, which would tell me or should tell you that there, there's activity, but there's a lot of people waiting in the wings in order to make some big ass buys. OK, so uh, I think you should pay attention to it. That's me telling you that I think that this Terra Luna Classic ecosystem is about to explode. It's about to start ripping, but that's for you to decide. You uh, do your own research, do your own investigating, uh, try to figure it out as best you can. Um, and, and to be fair here, if you come and look at it, Astroport is out here, Terra Swap, Loop Financial, Eris Protocol, uh, Edge Protocol, Synapse, Saluna, TFM, White Whale Vaults, Risk Harbor. You know, you've got a bunch of stuff that are that's that's building uh, and and working its way into uh, this ecosystem. So now uh, the the question here is, what are we going to do about it? So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let's see what happens. Make sure you check out Garuda uh, if you haven't already. Go check out Terra Casino for your risk based gaming, and certainly go look at Weeks for trading. Uh, if you trade, they're going to burn. So we want more burns. That's how you do it. 
Um, and this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. If you're looking for a non-KYC, by the way, KCEX down here. And if you support me because of Ben Armstrong, Femex. I'm partnered with Ben Armstrong on the Femex protocol. So um, again, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you again very, very soon.